Hello friends, this video on relations and functions part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 11. For example, here, if you see, till now what we have done, we have found the relation set. Once we found the relation set, we were able to find whether the relation is transitive, symmetric or reflexive. But sometimes it is very lengthy process because in this example if you see you have to again find if the relation is reflexive symmetry or transitive where relation R is in the set A 1, 2, 3, 2, 5, 6 where it says that X and Y are part of A and Y is divisible by X. Now if you see this Y is divisible by X. There can be so many elements. Y is divisible by X. For example, 1 comma 1, right? 1 is divisible by 1, 1 comma 2, 2 is divisible by 1, 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4, 1 comma 5, 1 comma 6, right? Again, with 2, two we have 2 will divide uh, 3, no? 4, yes, 2 by 4, 2 by 6. With 3, it is uh, 3 by 4, no, 3 by 5, no, 3 by 6, yes, 3 by 6 we have, and 4, 4 by 5, no, 4 by 6, no, 5, 5 by 6, no, and all the elements will have 2 by 2, 3 by 3, obviously, 4 by 4, 5 by 5, and 6 by 6. I think this many elements will get, but again, this may be a length if the numbers are more, if it is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to be. A bigger process because you have to jot down all the elements that is part of this relation. 2 divides, 1 divides 1, 2 divides 1, 3 divides 1, that way. Now, to make life simple, instead of this, we can still tell whether the relation is reflexive, symmetric or not. Let's, let's try to approach the same question in that way. The first thing is reflexive. For reflexive, I told that a comma a should be member of this. If a comma a is member of this, it means a is divisible by a. Thus, instead of x y, I am saying a comma a. a. So a is divisible by a. Yes, this is true. You take any number that is divisible by x. So this is true. That means this set is reflexive. So if you see here, to conclude that this set is reflexive, I didn't use this. I could have used this also. 1 comma 1, yes. 2 comma 2, yes. 3 comma 3, yes. 4 comma 4, yes. 5 comma 5, yes. 6 comma 6, yes. All the elements are there. So I can say that it is reflexive. I could have used this method also. But in this example, I'm trying to use a different method where I'm not, sub I'm, where I'm not finding this. this. Assume that this is not there. Because it's a lengthy process, assume that this is not there. I am just finding it without finding the relation set. So I have proved that this is reflexive, just like that. Now, to prove it is symmetric, to prove it is symmetric, what I told, A1, A2 is a member, implies A2 is a member. Correct. So A1, A2, what you will write? You will write like this. A1 is divisible by A2 and this if we can prove this A2 A1 means A2 is divisible by A1 is this true if A1 is divisible by A2 does this imply that A2 is divisible by A1 no we take so many examples for example 10 is divided by 5, but 5 by 10 is not there. So, we can say that this is not symmetric. Very simple, I didn't find this relation set, just like that I told you. If you want to verify, you can verify in this fashion also. If you see, for example, uh, we'll take an example. 2, 6 is the value here, but 6, 2 is not existing. 2, 6 exists, but 6, 2 is not there in the set. So we can say that it is not symmetric.
correct now the third is transitive to find whether it is transitive or not what we have told you a boy runs from a to b and b to c then we have to say that the boy ran from a to c that means if a1 a2 is a member and a2 a3 is a member this should imply a1 a3 is the member if that holds true that means that this particular relation i'm talking about is transitive so if you see a1 a2 that means a1 by a2 is true correct y is divisible by x that is y is divisible by x sorry it is a2 by a1 even a2 that is a2 is divisible by a1 a2 is divisible by a1 and this implies a3 by a2 if this both are true if both are true if you just multiply these two numbers what you get a2 by a1 into a3 by a2 what you get a3 by a1 that means a3 is divisible by a1 correct see if this is true if this is true using these two statements if you multiply these two statements i get a3 by a1 i get one more true statements this is a true statement correct if these two are true this two is also true this two is true this means a3 is divisible by a1 and that means a1 a3 is member of this so with this only i can say that it is transitive yes please understand him for transitive i told a1 a2 and a2 a3 exist that means a1 a3 should also exist okay. so i assume that a1 a2 and a2 a3 exist so if a1 a2 exists that means a2 by a1 is true and a3 a2 a3 exists that means a3 by a2 is true that means it has it divides if you multiply these two number because those are true statements you get this a2 a2 cancel you get a3 by a1 that means a3 is divisible by a1 that means a1 comma a3 that is you see a3 is divisible by a1 that means a1 comma this is x this is y that is a1 comma a3 is member of this set and thus we have proved that this is positive if you want you can verify with this relation also it is all the same thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again